Hello, I'm just uh, getting all set up and we are live on my Facebook page, JRP Designs here. So if you're watching the recorded version uh, and you would like to join the live videos, I do live videos every day at 9 p.m. So just join the JRP Designs page on Facebook. So today, I'm just giving it a couple seconds as people are coming on. I can see a couple people are watching already. And today I'm going to show you how to do peyote triangles. Hello, Aretta. So peyote triangles can be used for so many different things. I um, So over here I have an example where... Hi, Janica. Hi, Debbie. So, um, hi, Norma. You made it. What did you make, Aretta? Peyote triangles? Hi, Gail. All right, so um, peyote triangles get used to um, a lot of different things. You can make them here. I'm actually using it as my clasp for my peyote bracelet. So it matches my my pattern here. So I made a triangle that kind of just went with the design. And it works great as a clasp. Oh, wow, Gail, thank you so much. Hey, Kathy. So it's uh, so the whole entire bracelet is made with, with your seed beads. Yes, Jenica, isn't this great? I think this is so cute. And oh, yes, you did make it to the live video. It's just all you have to do, Aretta, is to go on the JRP Designs page. So if you go into Facebook and at the search bar, if you type in JRP Designs, um, it'll come up and just go to the page. And then you just scroll to the to the feed and it'll it'll it's usually the most recent thing. Another thing you can do with peyote triangles is actually, in this case, I connected several together to make a necklace. And so here, I've got them all going in different directions, and you have um, a cute little pendant or, or, you know, piece of necklace, and then I have some 8-0 beads over here as part of the rope for the necklace. So there's a lot of versatility to doing peyote triangles, and they're so much fun to make. So I... And if you Google peyote triangles, you'll find so many different patterns out there that people do. So what I suggest, or what I did was, if you go to the group page, um, and I could only reason I put it on the page was that's the only reason face only place that Facebook allows me to put it. But I have some um, peyote triangle graph paper, so it's actually in the shape of the triangle, so that you can do your designs in the peyote parts of this of the triangle. So this part you can go ahead and draw in your designs as you learn to make it and so if you just go to the page i think most of you are already part um are part of the group sorry not the page it should be posted up there uh today it's a document it's a pdf document so you are welcome to it and so to start here's what we're going to do so you pick up three of your Bead. So color A, in this case, I'm going to use color A, my turquoise green here, and that's going to be the herringbone portion of the triangle here. And then my crystal color over here is going to be the peyote portion because peyote triangles are essentially two stitches combined together. It's your herringbone combined with peyote. So let me grab my thread again. And so I'm going to pick up my three. I've got one. So here's one. And you just go back through the beads and you're going to make a little circle. And I need to go through one more to get it all to come together. So you're going to get a teeny tiny little triangle here with your three. Now what you're going to do is you are going to pick up two of your color and you go into the next bead. So I'm coming out of this bead over here 
and you just go into the next one. And you just got to get these two beads to sit together a little nicely. And they're fighting me. There we go. And there it is. And I'm going to work in this direction. I'm working clockwise. So you pick up two more and you go into the next bead here. Oh, good evening, Ros Rosemary. Well then, perfect. Perfect timing. And here's our last one here. So we need to add a set of two here. So you pick up your two. And so this is the first original three. This is one of the beads from the original three where we started. And then what you're going to do is you're actually going to step up and go into the next group. So this, by going into the second group bead over here, you've actually stepped up. So I'm just going to get these in place. Like so. So you need a total of nine beads in place, and then you go and do your two over here, and you go into this one, because it's starting, you can start to see the, the herringbone part, and you just go down this first one here. All right, now it's time to do one little teeny tiny bit of peyote. So you pick up your other color here, like I'm, and you are gonna go up into this one. So make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm pausing like that, just so. And there. Now you pick up two again, and you go into this one here. And before we continue, we get to do the peyote portion. So it starts off with one and then it builds from there. Like so, and this is our third side. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add these two. You pick up your white and you go through this one. This is the bead we're supposed to go through. And then you go up into the next one because now we are stepping up again. So let me just I'll go through that first one and then I'll step up. I go up one more bead and I step up. So it's starting to take shape, you guys can see that. Again, you pick up two go into just that first one. Once you've stepped up, you only go through the one bead um, in the herringbone portion. So now what we're gonna do is we pick up a white and then you go to this white and you pick up another white and you go up into this. And then we have to repeat this now for the other two sides. So pick up two, just go down through this first bead. And now you pick up one white and you go into this white. Whoops, there we go. And one more time. And this gets you over into our little herringbone section. And we continue. So the tricky part about this is just figuring out in the beginning is just figuring out where all the different beads go. And it helps if you start with different colors like I did here. Pick up a white, go into this white. 
oops, and I'm getting it wrapped around. All right, so this again, we have to step up. So you go into this first bead and then one more. Hi, Melanie. And there it is. Now you can really see the, um, the peyote coming through. Sorry if I bumped the camera there, ladies. I'm gonna pick up two, go in through that first bead. You pick up your white, goes there, goes over here. And one more. To get there. So I've used Toho beads, but you can use Delicas. These are 11, both of these colors are 11 Tohos. And so you guys can see how the peyote is slowly building. All right, so we continue. So we're gonna repeat on the next two sides. So you pick up two. And now we have to add our white beads. So one, having trouble there with the tail there. All right, two, and our third. And I got my two again. And it's again one, two, and three. And this is time to step up. So this is our bead that we go in. This is the last bead in this round. And the bead above that is the start of the new round. Oh. All right, I'm gonna show you one more round and then I'll show you how to close off if you want. There's different ways to do it. But there it is, there's our little triangle building away. And the size is pretty much up to you, however you wanna do it. So on this side, what I'm gonna do is, let's say I'm done, but what you wanna do is build up your peyote triangle further. Or actually, I said I'd do one more round, so let me go ahead and do one more round, sorry. So I'm gonna pick up my two again. And then, so you guys can see how many we need to add. We need one here. And then there's going to be two between the whites. Hi, Angel. So there's one there. And one here. And then we go into our green beads, so we go into the green now. Um, I'm trying to, re I don't think I've done peyote triangles on YouTube, Norma. Pick up two. Our one. Oh, thank you, Victoria. Go into the next one here. And the 
this one. And we've got one more to add, and then we go into the green. Yes, the video will be, uh, the rewatch or the replay will be ready after I'm done here. And so we have one more side left to do. So I'm going to go ahead and add my two over here with the green. Then it's peyote time. So you got one. My thread is misbehaving. Okay, there we go. So I got to step up in this particular round. This is the end of the round. So I'm going through two when I step up. Ha, uh, six O's. I don't, you know, I haven't tried them with six O's, Aretta. Um, I'm not sure. Possibly, if they're all the same size, I don't see why they couldn't be done. Oh yes, Melanie, I love making I love making um, peyote triangles. Yeah, but stars are a lot of fun too. I do actually have a a YouTube video on how to make a star. So now you can continue growing uh, your beads, or to end it, what you would do is you would not add any more beads. And I would even out the side. So I didn't pick up any more, but I do want to even out these sides. So I do need another round of, of peyote before I'm done. So I'm just going to go and add So this is how you would close off the triangle. It's one way to do it. Yeah, please do go ahead and watch the video. Um, I don't remember. It's um, it's I think they were like Christmas snowflake earrings or something is what I did. So you can see now how the sides are a little more evened out on this side here, versus this one is not quite as even together. So again, you don't add beads, so your triangle won't grow, essentially. And then you continue to add just your peyote part of this. Okay, so Aretta, I don't know if you saw this comment. Kathy says she's tried it with six O's. Um, yeah, that's the thing I find with um, six odd beads, rather, not six O's is that they are not usually uniform in shape. And I know the largest that Delica makes are eights. And Like so, and I've got one more side to do. So again, I'm not adding any beads, any of the green. I'm just adding on the sides for the white. All right, and Oops. 
just get my thread tangled up. And the last one. And that's it. Yes, yeah, so especially when you're doing most things with peyote, it definitely does not pay to um, skimp corners uh, with beads on that end. It's great for some things and not for others, basically. But yeah, peyote is one of these where you want uniform beads. So same thing with eights. As long as they're uniform, they will work. Um, oh, Myra, you made it here again. Yes. And so Norma, um, you can do it with eights. And so there's the triangle. You can, another step you can take is just adding one bead to add a little cap at the end here. So you just kind of finish that and then you can do, so in this case, if you wanted to do one more row of peyote, you could. So I came out of this bead and I went through this one to kind of finish that. This is extra, you don't have to do this. Um, this is optional, it just depends on what your final goal is, what the final design is gonna be. Two on my needle. So in this case, I would go through the white and then up into the green. And you can add one bead just to cap this off and then you go into the, the green and the white. and do another row of peyote. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this up. And done with the side. So you can see I go through two of the beads in addition. And then we put a little cap and finish up our last side. Okay, so Donna says she did six Aretta and she or she used six odds, but they were Toho's, so they were uniform in size. And there we have it. So that's uh, our triangle all done and it's kind of finished off. I added little caps at the end over here to kind of give it a nice clean finish. And yep, Melanie's used Toho's too. So the beads I'm using are Toho's over here. And basically the, tri the triangle you make is really up to you. So here are this, these triangles are a little smaller and this one over here, probably about the same size that I have on this as my little clasp. So if you guys join me later, I mentioned that on the group page, the JRP Designs group, um, there's a document. It's a peyote triangle graph paper. So it's actually shaped in the triangle shape and you can then do your own designs if you want. So it's yours to download. It's a PDF file and you guys are welcome to go into the group page and just download it and have some fun making some pretty triangle designs. Well, thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow, 9 p.m. Central, and we'll do something else. So, good night, everyone. Oh, 
absolutely, Kathy. Yeah, you guys, will, it's 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 a good size, so be lots to um, be able to do different drawings and things on it. Good night. Bye. Thank you.